Here it is outside of the primary coil, and you can see also wherever it touches the primary copper coil, it also ignites. Like there. So the primary magnetic field is very stimulating to ionization. Today we will see more confirmatory evidence that direct fields from the secondary coil of a Tesla coil will inhibit ionization of argon gas by a wire taken from the top, whereas lens magnetic fields of the same frequency but opposite phase will stimulate such ionization, for example coming from the copper primary outside. This is what we found last week for a direct aluminium plate and a lens wire coil, and we're going to see it again today for the Tesla secondary coil and the Tesla primary, which is also a lens effect. Suppose we take the ionization wire from the top of that Tesla coil, run it all the way down to the bottom, join it with argon gas, put it back up to the center of the secondary coil, and there's the end of the wire there. Now when we turn on the power from the center of the secondary coil, will it ionize or not? It ionizes very, very well as you can see. We can also run it up the outside of the secondary coil, inside of the primary, and it still ionizes quite nicely. Here it is outside of the primary coil, and you can see also wherever it touches the primary copper coil, it also ignites. Like there. So the primary magnetic field is very stimulating to ionization. Next, if we place the same wire nose down inside of the secondary coil, it won't ionize at all, even at full power. When you lift it just out of the top of the secondary coil, it will ionize a little bit. And you see the flames really are going both directions. And this year going forward, they want to go backward. Actually extend the primary coil some distance active beyond the secondary and then a wire from the secondary coil ionizes argon just due to those primary magnetic fields quite nicely. As we pull that wire down closer to the secondary it ionizes less and less and then when that wire goes down to the middle of the secondary coil at the top it won't ionize at all. We have confirmed today that if we're using a Tesla coil to ionize argon gas with a wire coming out of the top, then any sort of direct magnetic field from the secondary coil through a wire or placing the primary wire there will block ionization, yet the lens magnetic fields from the primary coil will stimulate it. Similarly, if we come to an aluminium plate down here, a direct wire from that aluminium plate will inhibit the ionization of argon, but if we make a lens field at that point by placing a copper wire coil over an aluminium plate, it will stimulate it. Direct fields inhibit the ionization and lens fields stimulate them.